Hello everybody and welcome to another video. This video is going to show you how to replace the textures in Supermarket Simulator. I've had a lot of comments recently um, after my videos because I've been using real products in my videos of how do I put these real products in my game and which files do I need to put in which folders and where do I need to put them. So this video should hopefully show you exactly what to do. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the texture replacer mod. Once you've got the texture replacer mod extracted and it should give you a folder called texture replacer. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put that in Bepinex plugins. So if you go into Bepinex and then plugins, just place it in here, texture replacer. So inside this folder, you should see templates, meshes, textures, icons, names, and the .dll file. Now at the moment, you will have absolutely nothing in these once you've just placed it in. And that is where you want to download the texture packs. So if you want to download one for products, download it. Once you've got it, uh, you should end up with something like this. So if you download any of them, they all come more or less the same way. You will get three folders, object textures, icons and names. So we've got the PS1 games instead of books. So we're going to be replacing our books today. And inside you'll get icons. So these will be the icons that would appear on the computer for you. So uh, got all your icons here. You've got textures, which replace the textures on the shelf. So the item on the shelf, that'll be its texture. So it's, think of it like a, a wrap, basically, and it wraps around the texture of the item on the shelf and product names so we can see what it's called, of course. So all I have to do is open my icons folder. As you can see, I've got quite a lot going on in here already. These are the ones I am currently using in my playthrough series. All I have to do is go into icons here. I'm going to use all of them, so I'm going to drag them all across and just drop them in. If you only want to use one or two of them, you can do just that. Every single number corresponds to an item within the game. So I think it's 160 something items in the game. So every single one has a number. So you can only replace one item at a time and have one thing running. But uh, so say if you don't want to replace all of the books, if you just wanted to replace three of them, pick the ones you wish to replace and just put these in. Now, how do you know which books are which, for example? Well, you can come across to templates, go into vanilla, go down to product icons, and you'll see all of the current icons that are in the game. These are all the original products. So you see the books are here, uh, 12 to 23 are books. So you know exactly which ones you are replacing in the game. You can cross reference this, see exactly which products you are replacing. So we've done that. So we've got our icons in. Next, we're going to put in our textures. So these are the textures of all the different products that I have replaced in the game. So some of them are not products, as you can see here. So I have a couple of flower pots in here. I've got some floors. I think I've got some ceilings as well. When you download those packs specifically, you only get textures. So it's just as simple as putting them in here. You don't need to worry about icons or names for those. So we're going to though drag over our texture for our games like so that goes in there like that and then finally all we're going to have to do is put in our names so these are all the product names for example i have fruit twist here i think that's a uh, mccain's fries is here as well various different names of the products i'm currently using so you come down to product names in your texture pack copy them over and there you go they're in and that is all you need to do to replace the textures within your game. It is as simple as that. Now, occasionally you might get a pack that also has some object meshes in there, but it's very simple. Just select the meshes and put them in here. That's only happened to me once. It is quite a rare thing. And this just changes the meshes of some of the products to help them look really nice. Um, but that is quite a rare thing. As I say, I've only come across that once when I've been replacing textures. But if you do come across it, simply put your meshes into there and it will work just fine. So I hope you have found this video useful. If you have, make sure you leave the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you for another video very soon.